Hey guys, if you're planning to make a contactless payment on your iPhone, then you need to know how to use the NFC function on your iPhone. And the iOS 18 NFC function is one of the few features you have on your iPhone to make a contactless payment. So here, I'll detail how to enable iOS 18 NFC on your iPhone. And here, I'll detail how to enable iOS 18 NFC to make a contactless payment or to make an NFC tag payment. So if I don't know this, you found this often informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Literally, you expect the iOS 18 NFC to be fixable or available on your iPhone settings. But if you go to the iPhone settings, the NFC is not available here. Then how then do you use the NFC on your iPhone? To use NFC on your iPhone without an iOS 18 or earlier, all you just need to do is go ahead and open the shortcut application on your iPhone. Now, once you open the shortcut application, you need to click on Automation. Now, tap New Automation. Once you click on New Automation, under Personal Automation, you want to scroll down. Just keep scrolling until you get to NFC. Then, click on it. Now, once you click on that, here you can configure how the NFC tag is going to work. Choose run after confirmation so that you need to confirm that you want to run the iPhone NFC before it can run. Now, to use the NFC tag, all you just need to do is go ahead and click on scan. They're going to see ready to scan. Hold your device near the NFC tag. Then you don't need to hold your iPhone near the NFC tag to make the contactless payment. So, and once the payment is recognized, then you need to make confirmation for the NFC tag to complete the payment process. So that is all you need to know about the iOS 18 NFC tag and how to use NFC on iPhone iOS 18. Since this feature is not available on the iPhone settings or as an application on your iPhone, you can use the shortcut to access the NFC on your iPhone on iOS 17 as well as on iOS 18. So there is no basic settings you need to set up while setting up the iPhone NFC settings other than choose either to run after confirmation or run immediately. So if you choose to run immediately, you may run into an error or a mistake scanning a different NFC tag. So you need to run with after confirmation so that you need to confirm that it is the exact tag that I want to run the NFC scan on. So if you found this helpful informative, please don't forget to like and then subscribe.